Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got back from a screening of Evil Dead Rise, and let's just say I think this is, the movie is the birth of a new generation of horror movies. Anyway, before I get into this to video, I'm just going to say like and subscribe. Thank you for supporting me in all my videos, and this is going to be spoiler free. So anyways, let's get to the video. So the first thing I want to say, it was my expectations for this film, because but let me just say, I never watched any of the previous Evil Dead movies. The only reason I wanted to see this film is because I was familiar with the Necronomicon and Ash Williams. But when I realized that Ash Williams was in it, I was not interested in seeing this movie with Ash Williams because he's such an iconic character. But when I saw the trailer they released for Evil Dead Rise, if I saw that before they announced Evil Dead Rise, I would have bought my ticket immediately pre-ordered. And when I went to see this film, let's just say... I'm like, what makes me want to go back and watch all the previous Evil Dead movies. People say that Evil Dead 2013 is one of the best horror remakes out there. And I think for a man who watched a lot of remakes of iconic horror movies, I'm going to probably give this, that movie a watch after I make this video. So, yeah, if I bet if you're not really a big Evil Dead fan and you're down this movie's too good, I suggest you go watch it because this might be my favorite movie of the year so far. Well, I took out my first place of Megan. So, yeah. Let me just say, this. Let me, again, this is spoiler free. My favorite part of this movie was the acting of all the casting. Because I, like, going into the movie, but the way the trailers were shown, it looked like an entirely different movie when I went to see it. Because it did not feel what I was expecting the movie to be. It was not, it did a lot of surprises. And it maybe even gagged a couple times. So, yeah, like, they said it was more of a comedy horror movie, like all the Evil Dead's movie are. But, I didn't really feel any comedy, but it felt like a straight first straight up horror movie, and I actually like that those kind of horror movies. So yeah, like if you like horror comedy, you might see a little bit of comedy. For my, but for my vision, I did not see any comedy. So that's one of the positives. And like, okay, let me get into the negatives. Well, I can't really think of any negatives because this is actually one of those rare movies I don't really give a negative to. But, except, like, one character, and, if you, like, I'm not going to tell who it is, but you're going to have to go see the movie for yourself. Alright, okay, that's all the flaws I got, but let me go back to another positive, and that's just the visuals of this movie. Originally, this movie was originally supposed to go to HBO Max about straight to streaming movie, but because of all the test audiences, how positive it was showing, they realized that they could show just releases on streaming service and could make some money. And it has been making money. By the time I'm releasing this video, it made $50 million box dollars at the box office right now on a $12 million budget. And that's really impressive. And that's why HBO Max, what's left to turn into new streaming service Max, just said they're not going to do any more straight-to-streaming movies just because of Evil Dead Rise. I respect them for making that decision. So, yeah, I think Evil Dead Rise is the next generation for horror movies. So... Yeah, like, like Evil Dead, like, I don't know if there's probably like five or six. I actually hope we get a continuation of this world and this series of Evil Dead. Even if Ash Williams or Sam Raimi is not involved with this project, and the actors that are in the Evil Dead Rise movie come back, I welcome the idea of them coming back, because the acting shots were good, the character stories were interesting, the way they how they changed by the end of the movie was interesting. And let's just say, I never seen this much good gore since the movie like Terrifier 2 because I was all practical effects. But Evil Dead Rise wasn't really much practical effects, most CGI, but this CGI paid off well because usually straight, straight to streaming movies are for like a straight to DVD quality that wasn't really that good compared to movie theaters. But this actually was pretty good, really rewatchable. I actually watched it three times to prepare for this review. So. Yeah, like, if you never watched the Evil Dead franchise, and this is your first time watching, you don't have to watch any of the previous Evil Dead movies to understand this one, because it is basically not, like, connected to any of the other movies. I'm just saying that, because if you think it's all connected, it's not really connected at all. So, yeah, like, if we get a sequel, I welcome it. In this movie, I'm probably going to go see it again after I make this review or release on YouTube today. So, yeah, like, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching this video. I'm Carson. Thank you for watching.